OK. Let us now see how does a place value table looks like in case of international system of numeration. Now, the place value table in case of international system of numeration has ones just like we saw in the earlier videos in the Hindu Arabic system. It has thousands. Okay. Now, unlike lakhs, which we saw under the Hindu Arabic system, the international system of numeration, which is followed in most of the countries in the world, has millions. And after million, it has billions. Right? So here what did we have? We had lakhs and we had crores in the Hindu Arabic system. Whereas in the international system you have millions and billions. Now each one of them are again just like the other system that we saw are subdivided into various values. The one system would have one, it would have the hundred and it would have, I'm sorry, it would have the tens and it would have the hundred. Right? Now the thousands will have the thousands, the ten thousands and here there is an additional change which is hundred thousand okay for millions you will have millions okay let me write this then you will have ten millions and then you will have hundred millions okay for billion sim similarly you have billion and you have 10 billion so the system is a little different vis-a-vis -vis the one that we have in the hindu arabic system so let's say you were given a particular number 3, 2, 6, 9, 5, 8, 4, 3, 2. Okay. Now again, as we saw in the Hindu Arabic system, what you need to do is you need to move from the extreme right. So you have 2 here. This will go and sit here. You have 3 which will go and sit here. And then you have 4. This will come and sit here. 8. Again. 5, you put them in the column starting from the right. Right? And let's say for example, you even had 1 over here. This 1 will come here. So just like we saw earlier, for the Hindu Arabic system, the methodology remains the same. It's just that the reference or the headings change out here. So let's say if you had to read only this part, that's the same as the earlier one. But if you had to read it this part, you will say you have 900,000, 900,000, okay, 900, okay. 58,432 okay so you say 958,000 you don't say 958,000 you say 958,000 okay similarly if you were referring to this portion you would say 26 million 958,432. 
So you read this as 26 million or if you were taking this complete one, you would have said 326 million 958,432. So you would have written 326 millions. So when it comes to millions, you see what's the value of these three. 958,000, okay, and 432, right? Now, insofar as separating periods are concerned, the period in the international system is ones, thousands, millions, and billions. So as to say that if you were to write this number, okay, so you would take ones, one, two, three, ones will come here. Let me use a different color. Again, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 1, 2, 3. So the commas separating the period come after ones, thousands, millions and billions. Right?